on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Okay, let's cut to the principal's office, in which Izuku, Bakugo, and Miski are there. Inko finally being able to make it after being hella confused and leaving work. You're like, uh, I heard Izuku was in trouble as she sees that Koski has a huge knot at the back of his head. Her thinking Izuku did that, she's looking at him in shock. Is like, no, no, no. Miski's, I did that. What? <sighs> For some odd reason, they decided to make it so your kid got in trouble as well for uh, something stupid. I assure you, Miss Bakugo, it is not stupid. This is a serious matter. You go saying down, like, what, what happened? Well, your son has disrupted the class to the point where he, we don't know what to do with him. What did he do? He brought these notebooks to school. Oh, those things where he writes down his tactics and... Yes? What, you know of them? Well, yes. You... I, I don't seem to realize... Uh, I don't understand. What? Why is he in trouble for just bringing notebooks? It's not just the notebooks, it's what they contain. Ways to defeat heroes? Come on. So, I... Is he right? Is there something wrong with writing things down like that? If he wants to be a tactician, if he wants to be a hero, he can't be a hero without a quirk. Excuse me? As, yeah. Ego starts getting frustrated. And Miski seeing this is a... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, what does uh-oh mean? Looks like you done created another me. Miski just backing away as Ego goes off. Yelling at this guy, he's like, How dare you try to tell me and my son that he can't be here just because he doesn't have a quirk? He's been training, he's been trying his best all this time, and you bring him here all because of some notebooks. He's saying he's in trouble for writing things down, trying to be prepared for whatever situation that may just pop up out of nowhere. Hmm. Did he bully Bakugo? No, no, I... Did he disrupt the class by reading the books? No, I mean, the teacher did that. So why is he in trouble and not the teachers? Um... Hmm. Interesting. He's a good we're leaving. For some reason, I'm a little upset right now. Oh, wait, is the school day is over for my son, and I'll be sure to pay you a visit later. It go just snappy out. It was like, whoa, what was that? Miski just like. But we're very well done. I am so proud of you. Wow, Mom. I did not expect you to be like that. <sighs> Don't worry about it. I'm going home. Bago still gets an earful from Miski when it comes to bullying. Isn't all that jazz. And now we... Cut to when Izuku is around 13. He's a lot more built. Like, hell, he's been training, of course. He, he won't just cut it out after 
he reaches a certain milestone, he has to be prepared. If anything, he wants to rival any gunsman, sword, wielder, anyone who doesn't have to rely on their quirk or anything. Someone who's, you know, hopefully normal people or people who underestimate him because he's quirkless. And this is when Moxie just comes back and he's, like, he's all too happy to see this. He's like, wait, wait what, why are you here? I wanted to give you a little something just to say happy birthday. Uh, you remembered? Yeah, I think you're supposed to be 13. Uh, really? Oh, wait, you got me a jacket? Is you could put me on and say, oh, ah, it's a lot roomier than I expected. Oh, that's not even the best part. Reach into the pockets. Hmm? Um, okay, as he pulls out a shotgun. Really? Oh, yeah, keep going. As then he pulls out revolvers, pistols, bread up, glocks, as well as a few semi automatics and crossbows, hatchets, katanas size, yeah, none jokes, anything Izuku could ever want as a real arsenal that is within reason and actual possibility to obtain, he actually has in that jacket. He's wondering how, like, magic. Seriously, you, you already know I'm a demon, so. <laughs> yeah, but you're one of the nicest demons I ever met. Well, besides Millie. Hmm. Yeah, she's great. Yeah, if anything, I really do wonder. How did you two meet? You could get in the backstory. Him was like, wow, her parents don't like you that much. Yeah, her father won't even acknowledge my input. It. it it kind of hurts. I'm sorry to, to hear that. Hmm. Well, uh, she's your wife now, right? Yeah. In fact, uh, I've been wondering what, what should I do for our wedding anniversary? I mean, yeah, we still have time before it, but still, it's. Ozzy's from the Lust Ring. Heck, at the very least, I can sing one of my songs I know she likes. Wait, 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 wait. The Lust Ring? Yeah. Uh. Mo Mo Moxie. I've looked up the word lust, and your songs are more lovey dovey, right? course that's sweet but I don't think singing a love song in a lustful lounge or whatnot would bode very well what do you mean well uh, think about it lust is more about fulfilling your desires no matter what it might be whether it be a desire for food, sex, and all that jazz, you know. It, love has nothing to do with lust. It's just in the moment. Hang on for dear life. Unadulterated. You've been on the internet, haven't you? Uh, well, I, I, of course. I mean, I had to look up the word. Yeah, but you've been looking at something you shouldn't have. Thirteen, I can look up whatever I want. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I guess I can't stop you from looking up uh, interesting subjects, but still. Hmm. Maybe 
I could do it at the end of our anniversary or something. You do make a good point when it comes to singing in a lustful lounge. I, I think that would, unless I had something raunchy and uh, depraved and, oh dear, yeah, oh my goodness, yeah, yeah you, you are right. You are right, right. I, I, I should not be doing that. Good. Wait, how'd you get here anyway? Well, Luna has agreed to open a portal to here and, you know, so. <sighs> what about Blitz? Oh. Uh. Yeah. As soon as he heard about me showing up here, he, not gonna lie, he got you something as well. Really? What did he get me? Is this a backpack? Is a, huh, interesting. Yeah, just be careful. Uh, okay, he's so slowly unzipping it, in which is a, <gasps> Rocket launchers, grenades. Wait, is that a... Is that a minigun? Wait, what? <gasps> a bazooka! RPG? What else is in here? Is you actually getting excited over the sheer volume of... Wow. On one hand, this is a lot of firepower. It's not to mention what I can possibly carry in this jacket. Hmm. What are you thinking? Uh, if I had a way to peddle some of these goods that I know I won't be able to use. Are you thinking about... Oh, yeah. If anything, if I can find a way to sell these, get some money, who knows? That warehouse that the day we first met. What, what about it? Heck, if I actually owned it as well as the land around it, it would take a while. But still, if I was able to do that, that would mean I have a base of operations in which... In which what? Well, I still won't be a hero. Okay, that, that part of my plan has not changed. But, I also kind of want to do what you do. What? I kind of want to be an assassin? Really? Why? I I don't know. Uh, if anything kind of inspired uh, me. I mean, I wouldn't be who I am right now if it was for you. Mossy started to shed a tear. He said, you say, please don't cry. If you start crying, I'll start crying. <laughs> As, yes, they start bawling their eyes out. As Millie just shows up. Just like, oh, that's adorable. Luna's like, hurry up before Blitz tries to do anything weird. <clears throat> Fair point. Uh, goodbye, Izuku. I hope to see you again soon enough. Just don't die. Wait, no, if you do die, then you probably go to hell or, or heaven, depending on the circumstances in which and, uh, we might see each other again, but I might not recognize you due to the form, but you could still remember me. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I'm rambling. Let's let's just go before I have a panic attack. Izuku just <sighs> yeah, he has problems, but I see him as a great person. Hmm. Really, sure, bit a good one, definitely. Hmm. Then again, they're both lucky. They're both perfect for each other. Izuku 
ongoing uh, his little operation. He knows he's not bulletproof. He knows he's not fireproof. When it comes to quirks, he is. He better be cautious on us. So before he actually tries to sell the arms, he actually is, okay, who would really want to buy these? People maybe without quirks or someone who wants an edge over someone with a stronger quirk. You know, this, 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 ah, as he sets up a time, he sets up a place, and he's doing research. You see, he goes to each and every person that would like to acquire certain arms through not so legal means, making it so he's like, okay. I gotta do some research on this guy. I gotta know how he does it, how he does this, that, that. As he starts looking at each and every one of the organizations in which, okay, I think I have enough information. Him prepping. But on the day of the deal, all of them show up. Who the hell are you? Heck, I'm here by some weapons like who are you same is it just hello ladies and gentlemen if you're in attendance today that must mean you want weapons and I am here to supply you with them but only to the highest bidder But here's how we're going to do things. Izuku, he's actually grown a little bit more sadistic. Let's just say... Izuku has actually spent time with Blitz. Just Moxie hasn't noticed nearly as much. Let's say he Blitz has spent at least two days... Of every other week for at least three months. So, Izuku is a little bit of a sadist. Well, you, the proposal he has is each of you are going to have to kill the others and get their money. And the last one standing is the one with the highest bid. I wish I would take my money. Even maybe give you a percentage depending on my mood. Why don't we just kill you here? Uh, you could do that, but then again, one, you could get killed or double crossed by either one of these other people. Two, you won't know where. The weapons are three. Heck, I can definitely kill you all easily. Four, I could have contacted the authorities at any time. Five, this building is rigged with enough kaboom boom to level. At least a city block or two. And uh, my ticker <laughs> is what's going to detonate it. So, can we talk business? Uh, do you accept my proposal? Uh, 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 we, uh, well, we, uh, we, we're going to reconsider. Okay, fine. Whoever is the last one standing, we'll split half of the money of, of everyone. As bullets fly, people die. Hey, Izuku is, uh, Pretty much on cloud nine.
just watching the carnage that he initiated as it unfolds. I'm proud of himself. Thinking, yeah, yeah, I may be a bit of a sadist, but oof, who would have thought people could be so greedy? In which, yes, there's only one man standing. Him presenting Yuzuku with suitcases full of cash. Yuzuku was just proud. Okay, good job. Here's your half. This man is limping. <laughs> He's okay, take me to the hospital as Izuku shoots him in the head. What wait, what was that? Take take your share. You sure you don't want it? Why thank you so much? Izuku just like what the hell happened to me? Remembering his time with Blitzo, pretty much being a sadistic, egotistical maniac who uh, has trouble connecting with people. Yeah, now I remember. He buys the warehouse and, as well as a large chunk of property around it. So, my thing, he can soup this place up as much as he wants and if anyone tries to trespass he has all the more reason to unload complete and total hell upon them <laughs> all he needs to do is make sure that, he, that the no trespassing signs are visible and you know stand your ground laws you, you have a right to protect what's yours don't you in which it takes for Izuku to fully equip his new digs. Let's say this is about time when he's 14 and it's the end of middle school. He's already been uh, seen as someone who's not to be messed with. And Bago, though he still doesn't really care for Izuku, he, and he does want to bully him, he's not an idiot. He still remembers that notebook. He's been trying to think, oh my god, this person knows everything about my quirk. He probably knows something that I can do that I never even thought of. So chances are, if I piss him off, he's going to use those tactics on me. Is And also that gun. Him feeling the scar just stings. Though it's healed completely, it still feels it. But no one laughs at Izuku. Bako doesn't do his speech. When it comes to the sludge bill incident, it does happen, but Izuku actually ha has a cryo grenade and just tosses it inside the sludge bill. And him freezing and Izuku just walking away, minding his own damn business. When all my shows up, you see, yeah, Slushman's already getting uh, apprehended. He just doesn't know by who. Slushman's trying to say something, but he's like, no, he can't talk. So, no second Slushman incident. Izuku doesn't meet All Might, and yes, everything is hunky adori. Now, let's get to the 10 months of training in which Izuku is trying to hone his skills when it comes to his. Spatial awareness, as well as you could say, marksmanship. Yeah, g catching all well, these shooting a uh, target that's stagnant, that's not moving, it's a lot easier than something that will move, charge at you, and possibly kill you and can shoot back. Though he does have no willing participants to really shoot back at him yet, he does have more than enough. Land to actually hunt. As long as he actually follows the hunting laws, and he's actually allowed to do so on his own property. When it's hunting season on deer, he goes ham. Well, technically venison. But he never kills more than what he would actually eat 
Inko's wondering, like, why is it, how is he doing all this, and where did he get the money, or whatnot. Zuko won't tell her, but he's like, don't worry, Mom, I'm not doing anything illegal yet. All I'm doing is trying to make life a little bit easier for us. <sighs> now, if you don't mind, I have to... To go to sleep, I got the train, more training to do before the entrance exam. On the day of the entrance exam, Izuku is not nervous. Though, yes, he doesn't want to embarrass himself. Though, he also does not wish to fall behind. He still cho chooses not to use his weapons. In fact, he's like, okay. So there is a way to shut them off without completely destroying them. Clever. Hmm. If anything, just destroying your robot would mean you just be in a head to head brawl with villains, which can be very problematic, especially if there are bystanders, innocent people, other villains that you don't expect. Not to mention the collateral damage that could occur. Hmm. So, is it good when it comes to the theoretical? He had plenty of time to train, he had plenty of time to study, so he aces it. When it comes to the practical exam, he's staying right above each and every robot, just trying to get as many points as possible. Since he knows he doesn't have a quirk, he has to work even harder. Everyone noticing this, wondering away, why is he, why is he doing, was he holding back, does he think he, that this is easy? Until Ida actually looks at him and sees how much he's sweating, how hard he's actually going at it, hopping from robot to robot, building to building, they like, wait, no, he's, he's giving this his all. He's trying his best just to seemingly catch up with us. Which, being realistic, yeah, he just doesn't get first place. It's just, at the very least, he doesn't need Oraka to try to sacrifice her points. Because the zero pointer, instead of trying to fight it, he saves Oraka and runs off like hell. End of story. All the teachers. At UA, especially Nezu, are hella impressed. All my, especially, what is this boy's quirk? Quirkless? Really? Huh, it says here he's proficient in firearms, blades, as well as martial arts. Whoa. Them just reading off his skills. Yes, this kid could be a very good hero. Even if he didn't even go here. What do you think, Nezu? Are you kidding? Of course he's go, go to this school. I mean, it's obvious he... Huh. He has what it takes. So why not have him join and upon getting his acceptance, Hollow Disk Izuku is overjoyed. All his hard work has finally oh, turned into his favor. Though, yes, he does like seeing. Uh, okay. What's going on here? Him noticing a note on his bed. Hmm. Looks like he's. Moxie? Him just tearing open a letter and seeing. Weird. A ring. Not really a ring guy, at least I don't think. Him putting it on, and he already notices, like. Mm, something doesn't feel right. And then he hears Moxie's voice. What? 
Oh yeah, this is a communicator ring. You wait, ow! Come on, magic. Did 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 you forget? Like, no, it's just magic is amazing. Ugh, you have no idea. But if anything, I want to check up on you. See that you were doing. Um, I'm actually doing pretty well. I just got sent into UA and everything, so everything should be going my way pretty easily. Ah, <sighs> that's great to hear. But at the very least, with this ring, you'll be able to contact me. And I'll be able to contact you, as long as you have it. That is. Huh. So wait, what if someone? else has it oh don't worry about that I mean so it's pretty much impossible like take it out take off the ring so as he does he knows like huh that always had that cut there nope that was a ring what oh yeah see it takes blood from each user at least the first user. When it comes to my version, it's linked to me through my blood. When it comes to yours, through your blood. I mean, we could add other people onto this, but it would actually be somewhat of a hassle compared to hearing uh, voices. You probably think you'd be going crazy. Thank you. But I didn't get you anything. No worries. You, you you were right about the whole Ozzy situation. So, yeah, I decided not to sing. As soon as I started singing, like, yeah, the this place is full of perverse degenerates who really just want to feel, fulfill those cardinal desires. We still went to dinner and whatnot, and it was great I just didn't sing in fact I saved the song until after if I actually actually enjoy that a lot more really oh yeah to her it's pretty much like she's the only one that gets to hear it which makes it more special well besides Blitz Oh, right, I forgot. Blitz is... Yep. You guys really need to limit his access to this world. We, we have. As soon as you actually let us know of how much uh, sadistic uh, tendencies you've acquired through him, yeah, limiting, limiting the amount of times he can show up, there's zero. Unless he has a chaperone. But would that really work? No, but at the very least I can say sorry as much as I need to while he is there. Hmm. You have it so difficult, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. Thank you for noticing. <sighs> Either way. Uh... Thanks, Mox. Don't mention it. For anything, thank you for not freaking out about me being a demon. And still continuing to be my friend. Hmm. Yeah, to be honest, I never really thought something like this would happen. What? Being a demon? No, me, me actually being able to become a hero. You being a demon, heck, I, eh, you were still Moxie. I'll race see the reason why you turn out to be a demon would change anything. Wow, you are crazy accepting. Oh, well, of course. You shouldn't be afraid to show people who you really are. I mean... Depending on who the real you is, you might 
they were going to prison, but still. Izuku being one of the most genuinely nice people Moxie has ever met. Like, seriously. H how does a world full of villains and heroes constantly battling it out, people dying, praying for someone to save them, and you are one of the most pure beings I've ever met. Well, then again, you do live in hell. That's irrelevant. Heck, we've gotten cherubs fired. Oh, yeah. Those... Yeah, I think one was a lamb and the other one was a sheep and hmm. No, no, no. What? Well, technically, aren't lambs the babies? Oh, right. Hmm. But if anything, I wonder what happened to them. Yeah. I'm sure they'll find some kind of work. As then, as soon as they the conversation, she was like, oh my god, I gotta go to sleep. I, heck, I got school later on. First day of UA is somewhat like canon, except more people are staring at him, mainly because, hell, these, some people actually saw how much he, he was working hard towards his goal. Hopefully, the end of UA. Mixed in with the fact that rumors have spread that, hell, maybe he's quirkless. Not to mention the whole fact that, huh, the way he looks is more like, not like nervous, nerdy-esque Izuku, more like a confident, cool, as well as, hmm, you could say charming least more charming version of Izuku, though he does still have his tendencies of mumbling and being a little embarrassed. The way he does it is pretty much like, oh, that's adorable. So he heads to one A's room, he notices yelling, which yes, is Bakugo, and yes, it is Ida. But upon seeing Izuku, Ida just forgets about Bakugo, and pretty much congratulates Izuku for not only making it to UA, but also for doing so well in the entrance exam despite not using his quirk. Bagu spits out what drink he did have, and is like, he doesn't have a quirk. He is, uh, what? You 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 don't have a? Yeah. Oh, that's just my skills. That I've accumulated at a young age. But you, you did that well, without a quirk. You, you know, yes. That is even more impressive. <sighs> okay, everyone, shut up. Uh, so we can have class get started. Huh. Oh, young Midoriya. <sighs> We've been expecting you. You seem like you're half dead. Tends to happen when you're a hero. Days off. What are those? Uh, oh, well, I'm sorry. I don't need your pity. If anything... Let's have a quirk assessment test. Yabodoria, you are exempt from it since you are, in fact, quirkless. But everyone else, change. As, yes, Izuku, he like, can of still participate. Are you sure? Yeah. Hmm. I don't really know if I should, but... Hmm. All right, why not? Izuku, he's not last place, but he was inching closer towards it. 
no one for all, just his peak human strength, speed, endurance, etc., etc. So at the very least, he's going to have to do some catching up to do, but not nearly as bad as Mina. The little attempts to actually get to know him a little bit better. And with that, that will be the end of part two.